the number one and three engine bleed air switches control the respective engine bleed valves. Normally, the switches are left in the open position. A duct pressure indicator displays the left and right supply duct pressure on two needles within the indicator. The engine two APU bleed switches control the APU bleed valve and the left and right number two engine bleed valves. With the APU operating, moving either engine two APU bleed switch to open opens the respective engine two bleed valve, APU bleed valve, and supply duct pressure rises. However, both switches are normally open, fully pressurizing the cross bleed manifold. The pack switches are battery powered and control the pack valves. Pack operation is initiated by moving either pack switch to on, which opens the respective pack valve allowing air to flow to the air conditioning pack and closes both flow control and shutoff valves preventing air flow to the engines. Duct pressure should drop to zero on both needles. Dual pack operation is initiated by placing the remaining pack switch to on which opens the pack valve and allows air to flow to the remaining air conditioning pack. Prior to starting an engine using APU bleed air, both pack switches are moved to off, which closes both pack valves and opens both flow control and shutoff valves. Air is now available to each engine start valve. After the engines are started, moving both engine two APU bleed switches to close, closes the engine two bleed valves and the APU bleed valve, isolating the number two engine and APU from the pneumatic system. Bleed air to the air conditioning packs is now supplied from the number one and three engines. A ground cart can be used to supply the pneumatic system if APU air is not available. With ground cart air available and the engine bleed switches open, ground cart air pressurizes the entire pneumatic system. Moving a pack switch to on allows ground cart air to supply the pack. To initiate an engine start using ground cart air, both air conditioning pack switches must be turned off to ensure adequate air pressure is available for engine starting. Both packs should not be supplied from a single engine and one pack should not be supplied from two engines. Since the number two engine supplies eighth stage air only, it may not be adequate to maintain pressurization at some altitudes and power settings. Do not use the number two engine to supply bleed air to a pack during takeoff or go around. The overheat system is tested by pressing the overheat test switch. This initiates a continuity check of each overheat detector circuit. If the circuit is functional, the overheat lights illuminate.